Firstly bring up the Small Business Server 2008 console. From there select the Home tab and then under the Connect to the Internet section you'll find an option called Connect to the Internet. Simply click on this link to launch the wizard. Once the wizard launches you will notice this splash screen. This will provide you with some information that is required before the wizard commences. When you have this simply click next to continue. The wizard will now commence detecting the existing networks as well as any routers that reside on that network. You will then be shown the results of the, this detection process. In this case you will notice that the wizard has detected a router at 192.168.0.1. You can change that if you want to, but in this case since it is correct I will simply click next to continue. The wizard now looks for the router and attempts to finish configuring the router using universal plug and play. The wizard now completes the process and you are prompted to finish. Depending on what sort of router you have and how it is configured, you may or may not need to enter a password and a login to get to the server to configure the ports. You may also need to manually go in and configure the port forwarding to allow the SBS specific ports through your external firewall. If we now click on the network tab and select the connectivity tab underneath, we notice that we have an internet connection a status as connected. If I now right mouse click on this, I can view the internet connection properties. And as you can see, the status reports has been connected and I have my router set up to be manually configured. If I want to manage my router, I can simply click on the button here and in this case it will launch the web page that allows me to manually go in and configure the port forwarding for small business server. Every time the connect to the internet wizard runs, it also creates a log of exactly what has happened. You'll find these logs in C, Program Files, Windows Small Business Server, Logs. The one for the connect to the internet wizard is CTIW. To view the content, simply double click on this file to see all the steps taken by the wizard to configure your internet connection. If you are planning to install, migrate or maintain Windows SharePoint, we recommend you take a look at our Windows SharePoint Operations Guide. For more information see www.wssops.com I'd like to thank you for watching the video and ask that if you found this video to be helpful to make a donation via donation.ciaops.net also, please don't hesitate to send me feedback at director at ciaops.com or keep in touch via my blog, supportweb.ciaops.net.au forward slash blog. Thank you very much for watching.